thanks for checking out another one of my unboxing videos. Um, as you guys can see, this is a totally different setup. I look like a mess. I have not been on here in probably a really long time. And um, here's a brief lowdown of what's going on. First, I got a job um, back in California. As you guys know, I'm always back and forth. So this job is actually for the next eight months. So I ended up getting an apartment in California. Um, you can see my little uh, dog camera. It is the best. I'm gonna link the Amazon link below. I think it's called the Furbo and it dispenses treats for my dog when I'm gone. It's the best, but anyways. Um, so I have just had a crazy whirlwind of the last couple months. Um, I'm out here working. In fact, my boyfriend's actually um, going to be coming out with me uh, to stay with me here in a couple of months. Um, so life is good. We still have the place obviously in Michigan. Um, I definitely will go back there after the show wraps, but right now I'm out here, I'm working, it's crazy. I actually was just at the beach all morning, so I definitely look probably a little crazy, but let's get into the quick unboxing so that I can actually just use my products. <laughs> and that's why I wanna show this stuff to you. So let's get started. Okay guys, this is the best right there, um, but it's kind of distracting me, so I'm gonna put it down. <laughs> okay. So let's start with, um, I have two, actually three unboxings. Here are my big boxes. My first, actually my first Gucci purchase and um, two items from Louis Vuitton. So let's get started with this first. This is more or less something that I have wanted. If you guys watched my wish list video, you will have seen this item on there. And let me tell you, this was nearly impossible to track down. I have been searching for this probably for on and off really for the last six months. And every time I went into a Gucci, they were like, oh, we don't make that or we don't carry that or that's only the men's or it's only in the larger style. And, um, so I finally went online and I saw that they did have it. I looked up to see where they actually had it. And believe it or not, it was at the store where I had to go pick this up in that same mall. So I was really excited because that day I had gone to three different places, um, yesterday to find this and none of them had it. So they actually had it and they had it my size. So here is, which I, um, mainly wanted, I think, I feel like this is such a like Instagram trend. Um, but I mainly wanted it uh, to wear to work. So here is the Gucci. And like I said, this is my first, actually, my first Gucci item. So I'm sure all of you can guess what it is in this pretty nice little bag. And it is the black with the silver buckle. This was really hard to find. It's not the really small one and it's not the really big one. It's the medium size and I'll show you guys the tag too. Um, but I'm really excited about this mainly for work. I think that this is going to be such a great way to dress up jeans and a t-shirt. I wear jeans and a t-shirt pretty much all the time. And um, when I'm working, sometimes I end up working on really dirty, crazy, like when I do superhero movies, it's always a lot of dust and dirt, so I don't like to wear nice things. But on this job, I actually get to wear semi-nice things. So I um, looked all over for the black and silver combination. I want to get the brown and gold combination as well, but I figured the black and silver I probably would use more, and especially because it'll go with my um, Chanel boy. So I just am really excited about this. This was something I have been trying to track down. So that is my first purchase and the next item um two items are from our favorite lb here is the proof of purchase and here is the first little box which i will show you this is going to go with the bigger one which you will see but this is just the silver luggage tag um, which my store that I picked this stuff up at currently did not have a machine to engrave. So I'm going to take it down to the Rodeo store sometime next week, probably. 
um, or next weekend to have it engraved, but this is gonna look really, really cute on the next item. Okay, this box is really big because I always tend to get really big boxes. Um, so, if you guys have been watching, you will have seen, let me pull this off, um, my probably now my last unboxing was the Chanel Deauville in the blue striped, which I love. I think it was really, really pretty, but I just didn't think for the price that it was practical for me at this moment. The more I looked at it, the less I loved it. Um, I liked it, but it wasn't as bright blue as I think what I had originally thought that it was or hoped that it was. And the more I carry or the more I like played with it just in the house, I kind of wasn't as thrilled. And what I kept going back to was a bag that I originally fell in love with three years ago. And um, so I ended up returning the Chanel Deauville and getting this instead. So let's open this and this bag, if you guys remember, I was very torn on getting and here I finally am adding it to my collection. This is, oh, I can still smell the leather. So you guys know that's my favorite. This is the Louis Vuitton Epi Leather Neverfull in the denim print. And I, what it came down to was for the price of the Chanel Deauville, which again is a great, great bag. Um, I could get this for cheaper than that. And this is all leather. And I feel like for what I'll be using it for, mainly for travel and for kind of like an everyday tote bag, I just felt like this is going to withstand more. This is going to withhold um, more beading and stuff. And I still just adore my Alma PM. I think that it's just, every time I use it, it makes me happy. I love the denim color. Um, it really goes with anything. I think it looks really cute with like little brown shoes and like a brown belt in a brown, you know, brown. And then it also goes well with black and I wear blue all the time. So blue is always such a great color for me too. And I love the little pouch that it comes with. Um, I think that this is going to be so useful as a little clutch to like carry around. So I'm actually really excited. I know that this has been out for quite some time and I don't really think there are that many left in the company. Um, and like I said, I had been debating over this. This was originally the first denim epi piece that I was going to get. And then I, talked myself out of it and I got the Alma PM, which I'm so glad I did. I still love my Alma PM, but I couldn't take my eyes off of this. So when the opportunity came, I decided to get this and I have a black, um, leather, uh, the leather tag big thing. So I'm going to put that actually, I think right up here and it's just going to look, I think so cute. So I'm really excited to finally have this in my collection as well. But for now, thank you guys for checking out another one of my videos and hopefully you guys all are doing great. I miss coming on and I really miss watching videos and I haven't been Instagramming that much either. So, um, I apologize if you guys are looking for that stuff, but there's so many other great YouTubers and people to follow out there. So I know you're getting plenty of good stuff as well. So hopefully you guys are all doing great and I look forward to seeing you and hearing from you soon. Thanks. <laughs> I can't even start. Hi guys. Um, thanks. Um, uh, little, little. <laughs> this is the Louis Vuitton um, 